cardiac perfusion. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end. I've got a special present for you at the end. So today I wanna to talk about one of healthcare's unknown career fields that not a lot of people talk about. I don't see a lot of content on the internet about it, which is cardiac perfusionist. So before we jump into the details on the career, let's talk about what a cardiac perfusionist does. They're typically the person who's running the heart lung machine during open heart surgery. So when you go on bypass, they stop your heart and what this machine does is it oxygenates your blood and returns it to your body so that you can keep living even when they're operating on your heart and it's disconnected from the circuit of your body. So typically you're the one handing the surgeon the cannulas and keeping the blood oxygenated and circulating in the body while open heart surgery is going on. You can also set up ECMO circuits if your hospital does ECMO, ECMO extracorporeal oxygen membrane. It's a similar concept to the heart lung machine, but on a much smaller scale and it can be used at the bedside. So now that you know a little bit about what a cardiac perfusionist does, let's get into the details on the career field. So according to my research last time I did it, there's 17 programs in the United States available. These programs can range from 11 months to 24 months, and they can range from a master's degree to a certificate um, there's not really a standardization across the board, which makes it a golden opportunity to jump into this career field now because you could potentially get your certificate for significantly cheaper and still be a cardiac perfusionist. Um, the cost for this ranges pretty dramatically from $18,000 all the way up to $80,000 in tuition. Your salary range expectations is $120,000 to $215,000. And typically in the middle, there's an average of $164,000. So awesome. Seems like a pretty value for the amount of time you're investing, the amount of money you're investing, and your salary yield expectation. It seems like a pretty value-driven certificate. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons. So pro, short amount of time, low tuition cost, Another pro, if you don't like touching patients, you're typically not managing that patient. You're just specializing in the machine and handing the machine over to the surgeon, the cannulas, when they put a patient on the heart-lung machine. Uh, another pro is that you're very specifically focused and you get to sit in the chair in the operating room. Cons, sometimes you may have to take call depending on your facility and the practice you're running with. Another con, you have to live within range of a hospital that has an open heart program. Um, another con is that your autonomy is completely limited to open heart surgery and that surgical setting. So all in all, maybe it's for you, maybe it's for not. Um, a lot of admissions criteria for these programs are going to require you to have basically pre-med requisites. So you're going to need physics, typically chemistry, biology, some of the science courses, but let's say you were somebody who was on track to be a pre-med or pre-dental or pre-PA or pre-physical therapy or even nursing, and you decide, hey, that's not for me, and you're stuck with these, these um, classes that you've taken and, or a degree that you're not using, this is a fantastic opportunity to have a pretty fulfilling career in healthcare helping other people by providing that important care. I hope this helps you out. My present for you at the end of this video is a spreadsheet. It's a Google Sheet, and it has a breakdown of all the programs by location, cost, length of the program, and um, if you click on the link in the bottom, it'll take you to a Google Sheet, and then if you want to use it and sort out, you know, and adjust which program you want to go to based on your specific criteria, just make a copy of it. And yeah, I hope you find value in that. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with somebody else who might get something out of it. This is Pierre LaFour signing off with the New Nurse Guidebook. I'll see you in the next one.